my god, this post really hit very hard. Especially after seeing the latest trailers of movies that are about to come up. We get to see a Batman that some of you grew up with. And we get to see old man Harrison Ford replaying the same role, Indiana Jones. And it's very accurately stated that one of the things that bugged me about Ready Player One was that despite being set in 2045, there was no made-up future pop culture. As though everyone stopped making new things in 2016. Now I realize it was the most realistic part of the movie. And as you can see, people are calling this stagnation. And I disagree, art has not stagnated. In fact, it went backwards. It's a complete destruction of creativity that we're witnessing in the West. And I was... uh, Watching a trailer for Picard Season 3, same thing, like, it's a ship filled with old people. Like, if you were to make a new movie right now, which takes place in space, and you're casting actors over the age of 50, the public is not going to believe that. They're going to be, why are they in the spaceship? Like, what type of society sends the elderly into space? It doesn't really make that much sense, and... The only reason is because nostalgia, right? Like nostalgia seems to sell, but when you look at the numbers, not really like people aren't buying the nostalgia anymore. They tried milking it so much and now it just doesn't happen. You you do not make profits by having nostalgia. So the question is like, why can't they be creative? And we get to see this with AI, like like, um, on Twitch, you had Neurosama and you had the Seinfeld AI. Uh, both said some jokes that I guess hit too close to home and they were banned. So you have video games that are being remade like GTA, for example, or Disney movies that are being remade and they have to remove stuff from them. Like movies and video games that are renowned around the world that were huge commercial success. And, And it was like 10 years ago, sometimes five years ago. And they have to change things in order to appeal to the modern audience, which actually means the progressive gatekeepers. So you're not allowed to be creative. And the only thing that they can do now is to take something that is very old and and like they're backing on nostalgia. And sometimes they're not even delivering that. And they're wondering, it's like, oh, why is Hollywood losing uh, billions of dollars? Why is uh, Netflix losing billions? You're not creating stuff. It's literally the, the, the meme with the cow that's dying and you're going with the buckets towards it. Like trying to milk it some more. The, the thing with Indiana Jones is like, okay, yeah, it was a good movie for its time. But like, can we not move on? Can you not create something new? I mean, the, the idea of the explorer going into the jungle, that, that's a really cool thing. But it doesn't really work today at all, because when I grew up, like, sure, you didn't have access to the internet, you didn't have access to all this knowledge we have now. So, like, thinking that there is a temple in a jungle somewhere was quite nice. But now you have political correctness, you know, there is no more jungle. Like, that jungle probably has a Starbucks next to the temple. And you're not allowed to think, like, oh, the people there are backwards and they're going to take you to the Temple of Doom or whatever, because that, that is problematic. But you can still, like, work within that framework. Like, why not have a space explorer? And he goes on a jungle planet and he finds, like, some ancient alien ruins. You can literally have, like, the plot of Indiana Jones but taken into space. And you have, like, planet exploration and, you know, you got, like, some bounty hunter that chases the main character. You can do all of that. You don't don't have to do this anymore. There's no reason to do this. And, and, And with this, I'm not even going to stop. You know, like, I just stop. Just, just please, for the love of God, stop. It's not the actor that's the problem, but like, just, no. You know, why, why not do Batman of the Future? Like, Batman of the Future is such a great IP. If you really want to do Batman, do a spin-off. Just have it in the cyberpunk universe. You can make a lot of political commentary about capitalismus. And you can have like a cool Batman that, that has stealth and stuff and it would look great on TV. Why, why do you have to do this? Why do you not have faith that you were to do Batman of the future, this could work? And you can actually have this guy. You can have this guy as old Bruce, and he's the mentor of Terry McGinnis. You, you can act like you got the lore in order to pull something like this up, but why are you so creatively bankrupt? Holy crap. You know, just, just let me know what you guys think. Am I over-exaggerating? Because I don't think I am. I, I am so... 
tired of this. And like again, seeing the trailer for season three in Picard and seeing like all those old people, like it, it was such immersion breaking. I'm pretty sure they managed to have like some story explanation or why like the entire ship is the geriatric squad, which is fine, you know, but like I can't enjoy an action movie because that's what it was trying to do, right? Like it wasn't some philosophical stuff or some soap opera. No, like all those people over the age of 65 were doing actually things and it just doesn't fit. Like you don't see the elderly do that stuff in real life. Elderly people usually have back problems, that they have health issues, they're not in peak physical condition in order to perform the activities that the the show was trying to convince me of. But yeah, you know, um, anyway, let me know what you guys think, and uh, as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.